to blur the background in Photoshop CC. My name is Harry Gohill. In this walkthrough video, I'm going to show you how we can blur the background while keeping the main subject intact. We will start this video with this beautiful image provided by Vijay Kumar Vijay from VJS Photography from Bangalore. In this video, we will go through Adobe Camera Raw where we will be doing a little bit of adjustment to improve this image just a little and then we will open it in Photoshop CC where we will be using selection and refine edge layer masks and loading selection then using shape blur to blur the background then content aware I will show you late, later uh, why and how we will use this content aware and finally uh, we will provide a little bit of sharpness to this image so let's start this is the work I have already done which we will go through so what I did to start with is I open this image into camera raw here it is and I did some adjustments because I wanted this image a little bright to make it black and white um, so I reduced the highlight to minus 39 shadows plus 96 white minus 40 and blacks minus 43 clarity was minus one but uh, it's okay if we don't do anything with the clarity so that's all i did in camera row and then i opened this image into photoshop where i created this image black and white to start with so what did I do well as we can see here in this palette I created the empty blank layer right below the main image layer and then as we can see uh, it was filled with 50% gray that was filled as we can see here what I did was I opened this layer style after filling the 50% gray what I did was I went to edit fill and then from here I selected 50% gray and clicked OK and that way I filled 50% gray into this blank layer then I double clicked it and I clicked here color overlay and then as you can see I reduced the opacity to 7 I selected this particular color which we can see in this here as well um, here we are which I think I'll get rid of because we don't need it anymore anyway uh, so yeah I selected the color from here then clicked OK and then I reduced the opacity and then clicked OK and then I selected the top layer and I changed the I changed the blending mode to luminosity which uh, obviously makes the image black and white then I created composite snap CS actually stands for composite snap then I found the face little dark so what I did was 
I created a copy of this layer which is uh, CS and then I um, change the blending mode to screen of this top layer which naturally will make this uh, the whole layer bright I think we can see that if I switch this off here we are this is what I did because I wanted only the face so then I filled this mask with black color to hide the effect and then by selecting the brush black brush with 100% opacity I clicked it on the face so so that's how uh, this face was made bright if if I click this on and off you can see let me make the image a little bigger so that we can see exactly what we are doing here here we are I will switch on and off here we are that's before and that is after so that's how I created this but I wanted a little more uh, brightness on the face so what I did is I duplicated the same layer as we can see if I click this on and off it's gone even brighter and that is exactly what I wanted then I created the snap again which is this one layer 2 which is composite snap then I created one layer above which is copy of this layer of course and then I changed the blending mode to multiply and reduced the opacity to 12% and then I provided the curl which removes the haziness and and it makes the image punchy as well as uh, you, it will increase the contrast in in the image as we can see basically this is actually this layer is for the contrast so so we can see a nice black and white effect and uh, at the same time we don't lose any of these details and then I selected all these um, layers starting from here to the bottom and then I clicked um, Alt and G to make the group which makes this group then what I did was I made a composite snap of all these layers this all these layers I made a composite snap which is this one it's ready now to, to do the next step which is um, blurring the background so what I did is I selected the main uh, subject of this image which is this model I did this selection because um, obviously we wanted to leave the subject main subject untouched we didn't want it to disturb at all so that's what we did uh, I used the the edge define which is there we go this is the refine edge where I did a little adjustment to get this selection proper and then I selected new layer with layer mask rather than layer mask or selection or anything else and then I clicked OK. I created the duplicate of the same layer and I provided blur by going to the filter blur and then uh, shape blur which is this one. I, I provided blur using this shape the reason I used this shape is because this shape provides blur which is more towards the blur which we get from the lens rather than um, any other blur because any other blur will look 
so perfect and it will not really look natural uh, like it comes from the lens so I use that one uh, the percentage I provided was uh, 15 I think 15 16 somewhere around 15 to 16 and that's where I got this effect now after that um, I created the mask next to it and as I mentioned before obviously we can't see here expanded this uh, selection but when I was working I expanded this to 16 pixel which is uh, like this uh, I went to select modify expand uh, here we go I think it was 15 C and then I clicked OK and that uh, yeah so then you click OK and it will oops sorry uh, because I've selected inside let's, let's do that uh, uh, it depends what you have selected actually if you select the outside then it will have to be um, the other way around which is uh, instead of uh, uh, expand it has to be contract which is this and then you put 15 there and then click OK and it has to be like this okay let me deselect that uh, because we don't want that so then what I did I provided a blur and then I created the mask next to it as soon as you do that you will see this result uh, this is the oops this is how you would uh, see actually when you do uh, a refine edge uh, what I did was actually I, I clicked this smart radius while I was refining the edge uh, and then the 1.4 pixels radius and then I selected as I mentioned before a new layer with layer mask and then I clicked OK and that's how you get this yeah the reason I, I provided uh, mask here which is inverted mask rather than the actual mask is because if we see the bottom part obviously if I suppose if I don't have this one then it will be all blurred naturally we don't want that because that will not look natural the legs are looking floating and it's not good so I had to copy this mask here and then invert it which is this and then I used um, gradient tool what I did was I clicked G selected this and the radial one and then 15% opacity and then I clicked here while I selected the the mask of course uh, we have to make sure that um, the black is our forge ground so whatever is actually selected here you will see here in the box so we wanted this to be selected and then this and then 15 percent opacity and then i clicked here to uh, remove the blur from this area to make it look natural that is the reason i had this mask here and i have this image layer here if I once again switch off you will be able to see say for example if I don't have this one then the image will be like this which is no good so I had to create this and therefore I had to have two layers of the same image with two different masks one inverted and one normal and then finally I made a composite snap now of course as you can see my work is not 100% because this is just for the guidance this is our final image um, after I 
clear up all these um, mistakes and everything this is 100% uh, result when I say 100% I mean and that is it really I hope this helps and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to receive auto notification on my new release videos thank you for watching and bye for now